Good Sunday evening, meteorologist Vanessa Alonso here in the KQ2 Weather Center. After a beautiful weekend for us, big changes are on the way as we begin a new work week. Temperatures are first dropping into the upper 30s to lower 40s and they're going to continue to drop into the 20s heading into the overnight hours. We're also getting a very breezy northeast wind coming in anywhere from 20, 30 miles per hour, which is helping those temperatures to drop. And also we have winter weather advisories for areas east of I-35. It does include Grundy and Mercer counties into the Kirksville and Columbia areas through noon on Monday because we are going to be getting a band of snow moving in during the overnight hours. We did have a cold front that passed through earlier today. That's why temperatures are dropping. But look at this band of snow heading into Nebraska and Iowa. This is going to continue to push southward heading into the overnight hours. So we are going to see some snow during the overnight hours into early tomorrow morning. So let's go ahead and break this down for you in your KQ2 hour by hour forecast. We're going to start seeing the snow move into northwest Missouri into northeast Kansas after midnight into the 3 a.m. hour. As you wake up tomorrow morning to kick off your work and school day and your Veterans Day, temperatures are going to be remaining in the 20s with that band of snow moving through. The snow should move out by late morning, but behind it, we're going to get some blustery north winds gusting anywhere from 30 upwards to 35 miles per hour. Temperatures tomorrow are going to struggle to get up into the upper 20s for high temperatures and heading into Monday evening it is just going to be a cold one as temperatures drop into the teens and we could be dealing with single digit wind chills heading into Tuesday morning so you'll need to bundle up and dress warmly for the next couple of days. Now, as of right now, snowfall amounts for tomorrow morning are looking to be anywhere from a dusting to about an inch of snow. Now, areas east of I-35 could see a little over an inch. That's why the winter weather advisories are in effect for areas east of I-35, especially in Grundy, Mercer, and into Kirksville and into Columbia. But once the snow ends, again, we're gonna be dealing with some frigid Arctic air at least for Monday into Tuesday before we start rebounding into the 40s and into the 50s heading into the second half of the work week into the weekend. I will have the latest coming up tonight on KQ2 News at 10. Hope you'll join us.